All right, just gonna vertical jig here. Just another second or two. I'm just gonna... That's a fish. Good fish, good fish. Oh, that's a nice one. So I made it back to one of my favorite lakes in the world, Lake Norman, North Carolina. And I cannot believe, well I can believe how patient everybody here is. I took forever to launch that kayak and nobody complained. It's shut down to only one boat launch for all these people. And everybody here was super patient. I'm not seeing any minnows come to the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fish the drop-offs first, troll over to them, see if we can get anything doing that, and go from there. All right, got in the water. I'm gonna troll out to some of the deeper areas first. I'm gonna fish the drop-offs in the 40 to 50 feet area out in the middle of the lake. See if I get anything there. If not, I'm gonna go into the shallower 30 feet and then into the 25, 20 feet, and then 15. I'm gonna to try to find the depth where I get that first fish. I think that's where the rest, that's where the minnows are gonna be comfortable. And therefore that's where the fish feeding on them are going to be. And so that's the plan. Hopefully I catch something good here, which will justify me describing this new fishing pole specifically designed for this kind of fishing. But let's see what we can do here first. This is 42 feet deep here. Depth finder is being charged right now. So, but I just know from coming here so much, this place has such a great energy about it. Absolutely love fishing this lake. Sunday, not that crowded. I love these overcast, mostly cloudy skies. I keep trying here. All right, nothing jigging out here in the deep water, so I'm gonna go ahead and start trolling into the 30 feet deep area, throwing this flicker shad. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm lifting it up. It is a giant piece of plastic. I don't want to pull too hard because it breaks. This hook is going to come off into my hand. All right, so about 30 feet right here. Going to go ahead and try some jigging. Maybe I will say something about this pole. So it's a uh, medium pole with braid which has the thickness of two pound test so it can fall quickly through the water 30 feet deep only using one eighth ounce two pad jig with a uh, 10 pound mono leader it's about three and a half feet long this is designed to get it quickly down to the bottom and that leader makes it less visible to the fish Let's see what we can do here there's a fish little spot all right first first fish of the fall season lake norman tiny spotted bass all right just gonna vertical jig here the berkeley gulp four inches just got a little hit right around 32 feet deep so it looks like that's where the fish are so i'm gonna keep trying that that same depth Let that go down. Just do some vertical jigging here. Might try a different spot. I'm gonna give this another second or two. fish. Good fish, good fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Really nice fish. It's just jigging the bottom, just vertical jigging. And this thing followed it up. I was actually just about to, just about to leave. See 
see what this one is. Oh, nice. Hybrid. Yeah, baby, this is what I came here for. Really nice fish. I mean, not giant, but not tiny. Come here, buddy. Got him. Yeah, definitely not a huge fish, but definitely what I came here for. A real nice hybrid. It's got the telltale broken stripes. Beautiful fish. Hopefully, there's going to be more. This was right at 30 feet deep. 31, 32 feet deep. That's exactly where I got that spotted bass. A little bit over from here, right at 30 feet deep. So this tells me a lot of information about where I'm going to find the fish today. So That was rough so close to getting that one in but it did one more final spin at the end there and was able to just spin itself free keep trying here oh another fish Line is fouled up. Shit. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Yes. Got it. Oh, it's another catfish. I don't know if it's as big as that other one, but nice fish. It's coming up. Man, they like that heavy, that heavy jig. Oh, here it is, not as big, not as big at all. But still a decent fish. Man, these cats like this big half ounce jig. Look at the size of that jig. Three inch Berkeley gulp on it, just vertical jigging, just it's like they they like it pounding on the bottom practically because the weight of the the wind actually makes the boat undulate a little bit and it just lifts it and drops it lifts and drops and that last catfish was way bigger than this one. It's still still fun to catch. That is crazy though. Second decent fish on that heavy jig. He's maybe a couple pounds. He's not big at all. All right, that was so much fun right there. So I, like I said, I came out from Pittsburgh this morning, so I only planned to fish for a few hours before sunset. That's still the plan. And I am only gonna fish here until sunset, but this has been great so far. I'm gonna, gonna jig underneath that bridge a little bit, see if I can get anything that way. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Gonna, gonna reel up here. Oh, it's fish. Look at that, right at the end. Nice little, nice little channel cat. It's just reeling up and that guy just grabbed it. Getting ready to go here. So I'm gonna head back to the boat launch now, troll back over there, get to see me in my cool hat. The sun was really bright today, and I'm glad I caught anything today under these conditions. It was only cloudy for a little bit, and then the sun was just blaring all day. 
this thing came in handy. So I'm fishing here again tomorrow morning, but this isn't gonna be like part one or part two. I'm gonna try to upload a video every single day that I'm here so you can see in real time how things are going on Norman, what I'm catching, what I'm not catching, what's working, what's not working. And so click on the subscribe button, click on the alerts so you can see it. Like I said, there's a good chance that if you see a video that I upload from Lake Norman, it could actually be from that day. And I say exactly what boat launch I go to. This was the Stumpy Creek boat launch. All the fish were caught at 31 feet deep, jigging every single fish, not one fish trolling, nothing on the lures, nothing on the flicker shad at all. Everything was either vertical jigging or jigging toward the boat. And this was all without even finding a bait ball. There was, I did not find any feeding frenzy. This was all just jigging certain depths, went to the 31 foot depth, stayed there. Every single fish was caught at that depth on Berkeley Gulps. I'll put a link below to all the baits that were used. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.